and welcome to AGBPC Cycle 1 Week 3. The theme for this week was Best Friends Week, and all of you submitted your photos except for Sunset AG, so I'm counting it as her past this week. And the theme for this week was Best Friends Week, so let's get started into the photos. Our first photo comes from AG by the Bay, and this is so cute. The background looks so nice and lit up. I love the greenery in the background. The dolls you used are adorable, and I love their outfits. And I also really like how you used portrait mode to put more focus on the dolls and the dog. It looks perfectly blurred out, and I really like it. My one critique would be that the background is a bit brighter than the dolls, so they look a little backlit. But other than that, you did an amazing job this week, and I love this photo, and it's so adorable. The next photo is from Lena Loves AG, and she gave me a little bit of background info on this photo. Basically, this photo is about a doll named Delilah who has troubles making friends, and so her best friend is her cat, Pot Pie. This is such a cute photo. I love the story, it's just so sweet and wholesome. The lighting is also amazing, and I love the set where you took this photo, it's just so pretty. The little cat toy you made is adorable, and the cat itself is really cute. And I also love how the doll is wearing a cat shirt. My one critique would be that since you used portrait mode, the string on the cat toy is a bit blurred out and you can't see the cat's face, but other than that you did an amazing job and I love this photo. This next photo comes from the doll fan and at first I thought it was a little confusing, but you said the background info was that Mary Ellen and Rebel are playing a game of chess together and Mary Ellen is screaming it's your turn at Rebel. I think it's really cool how your dolls are playing like a life-sized game of chess. This would be really fun to do in real life. The lighting looks great. The doll's hair is neat and pretty as always. I like the clothes and I love the reflection shown in the doll's eyes at the front. My one critique would be that the background is a little bit unrealistic and the storyline is kind of confusing, but I still really like this photo, so great job this week. This next photo comes from Dollworks and her dolls Molly and Kirsten are doing patchworking together. I think this fits Best Friends Week perfectly, and I love how it's kind of historical, as if these dolls were best friends a long time ago. I really like how Kirsten has pretty blush on her cheeks, and the lighting in the background is beautiful. I like your dolls setup with the fabric that they're sewing, and I think that the idea is really cute. My one critique would be to turn Kirsten's head a tiny bit to the right to make her eyes look at the camera, and it's a little dark around the right side of the photo, but other than that, you did a great job this week. The next photo comes from ARS Productions, and her dolls Alyssa and Julie are both dressed in yellow, matching like best friends do. I really think this screams best friends, and I love how they're matching outfits. The background where you took this photo is super pretty, and I like the angle where you took the photo at. I also really like how their hair is both styled pretty neatly, and there's not too many noticeable flyaways. My one critique would be that it's a little bit dark around their eyes, and also the posing of Julie is a tiny bit unrealistic, but you still did a wonderful job this week. This next photo is from AGPs in Hope and it's so wonderful and stunning. I really love the background, it's just so beautiful. The pose that Mary Ellen and Leah are doing is really cute and I love their outfits and everything about this photo is just so beautiful and it kind of screams best friends, so you did a great job tying in the theme this week. And the lighting is really good. I love how the sunlight is casting against the back of Mary Ellen's head and onto Leah's face. I just really like the angle you took from this photo and everything, so no critiques this week. Amazing job. This next photo comes from Blue Diamond HG and it's so adorable. I love how they're kind of in a fort or under the blanket. It looks like Samantha is listening to music on a phone or an iPod. And also, it looks like they have a little Rubik's Cube in front of them and a blanket and just a few activities. This kind of screams like something best friends would do. Their hair looks really neat. The lighting is pretty good. And I just really like this photo. It's super cute and very creative. My one critique would be that you could have posed the camera a little bit higher so that both of them looked at the camera. But other than that, you did an amazing job. 
This next photo comes from Adventures with Professor Pete, and your dolls Camille and Gwen are making friendship bracelets. I really love the setup you have. All of the bracelets and the beads and the necklaces are really cute. I also love how the dolls are looking at each other while they're making bracelets. I think that's so sweet, and it definitely screams best friends. I also think it's really cute since Welly wishes look a bit younger than 18-inch dolls. Which I think just makes the photo 10 times cuter, and I love it when people use Welly Wishes for photo contests. My one critique would be that the lighting looks a little bit dark in some places, like on Gwen's side, but on Camille's side, her face looks a bit too bright, and I also would have done it at a little bit more of a zoomed out angle so that you can see the whole table, but you still did a wonderful job this week. This next photo is from Creations with AG, and oh my goodness, this photo is so stunning. I have never seen a more perfect setup. I love the background. I like all the decorations on the walls. The bedding on the bed is so cute, and I also really love the window in the background. It just makes the photo 20 times cuter, and I like how it looks like they're near a beach. I really think that makes the photo look really cute. I also really like how your dolls Erica and Carly are not only best friends, but they're also sisters. They're both looking at the the camera almost perfectly. Each of them have one eye that's looking at the camera and one eye that's not, but I don't really like to count that because sometimes you can't help it and it's hard to get both of the eyes to look at the camera at the same time. I really love the lighting of this photo. It's perfect. I wouldn't edit it any other way. I really like everything about it and the reflections in the doll's eyes are beautiful. I can tell you used a ring light and yeah, everything about this photo is just simply amazing and I have no critiques this week. Next photo is from AG Wintersea, and your two dolls are best friends, and they're doing karaoke at a sleepover, which I can definitely tell that. I love the pose, and the setup is adorable. I like the little poster in the background of the American Girl of Today logo, and I also really like all of the little scrapbook kind of things on the wall. The dolls' poses are really cute, the angle is amazing, the setup and the lighting are all good. My one critique would be that the doll on the right has a little bit of a red face. I don't know if it's the actual doll or just the way you edited it, but it kind of looks a little too red. But other than that, you did a wonderful job. This next photo is from Starburst AG, and oh my goodness, the background is so beautiful. I love the grass and all of the trees and the nature. It looks like you two dolls are running a lemonade stand, which is definitely cute. I love how the cup that Corinne is holding kind of has some paper spiraling out of it, which makes it look like she's pouring lemonade. And the homemade sign you made for this is just so cute. I really love how much effort you put into it, and the design is adorable. The set itself that you used is also a really adorable set, and I just really like this photo. My one critique would be that the angle is a little bit cut off. I would have zoomed out or taken the photo from a further distance so that I can see the whole lemonade stand, and I also would have taken it from an angle right in front of them since they're kind of at the side. Their eyes look a tiny bit dark, but other than that, you did an amazing job. This photo is so cute. This next photo is from Jojubi10, and she also used Welly Wishers, which I love. The dolls' names are Leah and Devin, and they are best friends, and they're also playing together outside. I think that you captured their personalities pretty well. You said that Leah is outgoing and ready for any adventure, while her friend Devin is shy, creative, and quiet. But they have one thing in common, which is dressing up, and I can definitely see that. I love Devin's costume of a dragon, and Leah looks really pretty as a princess. The eyes are really lit up and it's stunning. I really like the lighting of this photo and the angle and I really think you captured Devin's personality pretty well and I have no critiques this week. Great job. This next photo comes from Dancing Dollies Productions and it's so cute how both of your dolls are sitting in a tree talking. I really like the dolls poses and all of the greenery and the background and I just admire your talent of getting them to sit on a tree. I don't know how you did that, but it looks amazing, and it must have been really hard to balance them like that. So first of all, I really like the lighting, although I think that it could have been maybe a tiny bit brighter, and I think you could have cropped out the window a little bit or taken it from the angle where it doesn't show the house as much, because you can clearly see that it's kind of huge and not doll-sized, so it's not exactly to scale. I really like this idea, although the doll on the left kind of has her arm cut off a little bit so you can't see the full arm, but other than that, you did a great job. Last but certainly not least is a photo from the AG world and she used her doll Rebecca as well as her new doll kit. 
I really love this photo. The pose they're doing is so cute and I love how they're leaning against a tree talking. I also really like Kit's outfit, obviously, because I love Kit. And Rebecca's outfit is also really pretty and their hair looks neat and calm and pretty as always. You put so much effort into your photos. The lighting is stunning and I just think you did an amazing job. My two improvements are, first of all, you could have cropped the photo a tiny bit more since it shows the fence on the left side but not the right side, and it kind of takes the focus away from the dolls, which I usually like to be in the center of the picture. And secondly, you could have turned Kit's head a tiny bit more towards the camera so we could see her face better, but you still did a wonderful job. so much to everyone for submitting your photos. I really love all of the photos you guys took this week and I say this almost every week but I think this is the week with the best photos. They were honestly so hard to rank but please remember that I'm not a professional so don't take my rankings too seriously. All of you still did an amazing job and I'm so happy and proud of your photos this week. So I'm sure that all of you are wondering what next week's photo is and next week's photo is going to be nature week so basically you're going to take any photo of your doll just outside looking really pretty. I would love it if you went somewhere with a lot of greenery and maybe some flowers and also this is kind of specific but I would really like if you all dressed your dolls kind of fancy like in dresses or something so that it looked like they were just in like nature really enjoying themselves in pretty dresses but basically it's just nature week so the only criteria really is that your doll photo has to be outside and i can't wait to see your photos bye thanks for watching